You know what you see is. You know what you see. You know what it is. You know what you see. It is Final Fan to see. The fuck? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Here we go in a second. I forgot to do this on the other screen. There we go. Booyah. I should do, uh, what's it called? Studio mode. But it takes up, it takes up a bit of my encoding process. Anyway, you can see what it is. Final Fantasy here. With your boy Yazaru. And you just, uh, your man he and That's all I'm gonna call him. I ain't gonna say anything else. Did I take a picture at this moment? Hold on. It's a pretty cool picture right there. Boom. And hey, sunlight. <laughs> we been here so long, it's some late. Got to see you. Last time we left off, got to see you. Was about to get hit by some villagers, but he and convinced him not to. Because I think she's still brainwashed. Not brainwashed. Amnesia? An amnesia person. Whatever that means. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Fruits of her labor. He and his face is a picture of relief. Sigh. That would have been better avoided, but at least it did not end in bloodshed. And judging by Suyu's reaction, she remains oblivious to the events of her former life. This was no escape attempt. Nay, it seems it was off in an offhand request of Kosetsu's, which brought her to Namai. She came in search of a persimmon. Ha! Huh. And they say fruit is good for the health. I do hope Kosetsu finds a taste to his liking. Well, we have certainly taken the long way around, but let us continue on to Castrum Fluminus in our meeting with the Ambassador. Alphano and Alize should still be there, conducting their search. I have a bad feeling about this entire quest line. With Yatsuyu. I just have a really bad feeling that it's not going to end well for anybody involved. Mm -hmm. It seems our imperial guests have already arrived. Just time to meet with the ambassador. Indeed. Hmm, those mun munitions crates. Oh, I don't like that smile. What a pleasure it is to see you once more, Lord Hien. Not to mention my dear sister. A pleasure to see you too, Ambassador. Why is it always Final Fantasy that has, like, the audio bugs? You have our people aboard the airship? Exactly as agreed. We would leave you in no doubt as to the purity of our intentions. I dare say it was the self-same spirit of cooperation which prompted you to... Sorry, no, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing? Indeed. Before excluding her from the exchange, I thought it only fair that you see her condition for yourself. Physically, she is in fine health, but her mind is unchanged. So I see. Maybe it was a little peaking. Need not necessarily be lost. Ooh. In anticipation of this tragic. Turn of events. I took the liberty of hey, what's up, EG? What you doing? Oh, you subscribed for three months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What you grinding? Grinding in a uh, league again? What was no? What was the other game you were grinding in? You told me it was another long. Ah, uh, I've got to forget the name of it. I don't because it had like a ridiculous like grinding. Uh, scheme you told me for like level uh, levels I guess or like rank 
We, oh, what is this? Ah, Yotsuyu. You look well. Is this her parents? Oh, that's fucked. Of all the people. <laughs> oh, Edgy. Got it, got it. Dear sister, these are our beloved parents. Sorry about that. Makes more sense now, I think. Edge, like Edgy Sketch, Edgy Sketch. That makes it edgy. Edgy, 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 edgy. Gotcha. Oh god, it is when she loses it. It would make more sense though if she remembers. Gosetsu. I have to take this to Gosetsu. Because if she remembers her dark past, then it'll make sense that she wants to switch sides if she asks me. But Edgy got it. Sorry. Don't be, don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. As a person who's also socially awkward, don't be awkward. <laughs> it's your name after all, too. That's in a, that's a sacred thing. You needn't glare at me, so Lord here. I merely did what any loving son would do for his family. Lest you doubt, I am content to leave the acting viceroy in your care. Pray, treat her as you would any daughter of Dorma. I don't like this guy. He's... He's a snake. He's a bit of a snake. Do not grow too fond of this place, dear sister. You will come back to us ere long. Oh, hey, look at Hey, sir. I don't like this man. I don't like him. You said Maple Story? Oh yeah, I think that's what you said you were doing earlier. Well, um We continue with the I remember correctly you told me you were grinding into the game. Very good. The structure across the river should serve our needs. We shall await you there with the conscripts. If you would bring your captives. Agree. Until then. Ambassador. I know he wants to punch him in the mouth. But there won't be diplomatic to do that. Cause that was just green. Yes, I am so excited for uh, for Ragnarok. Problem is I gotta figure out what when am I gonna play it. I know all the social media sites I use is going to be just buffeted with clips and videos. Oh, I knew better than to trust Asahi, but that was a dirty trick. I'm so excited for Ragnarok. Still, unpleasant as it was, we have at least we have at least put the matter of Suyu's future to rest. I have sent her back to the enclave with Yuguri to give Gosetsu his precious persimmon. Come, let us follow them. Them or them? I didn't see it. We're so happy. Yep, you're smart. You're smart. Honestly. <laughs> oh, nothing of consequence, most like. We can discuss it upon our return. Deleting Twitter. Like, stopping all, like, any mention. If you can hand just, like, hide any mention of God of War. All of that. That would probably be the smartest thing. I, eh, I unfortunately use Twitter too much. And uh, TikTok for, uh, really, gym edits. <laughs> I've fallen in love with these gym TikToks. Um, but man, I, I've already seen some stuff. Like I saw a little bit of the Thor and Kratos, one of the Thor and Kratos, uh, altercations. <sighs> I've said Elden Ring is probably going to be game of the year, but I'll be honest. Just that little clip of Ragnarok has already sent me into a frenzy about what might be game of the year potential and there's still more and there's some more games coming out too that could be game of the year
Yeah, I can't. I bet there's already spoilers breaking through. I bet, I bet, which is why I uh, I hate spoilers so freaking much. We should pay a visit to Gosetsu and reassure him about Suyu's fate. He will want to know that the Empire has finally relinquished his cl its claim on her. But I hate spoilers. If you spoil things for people, you're just a terrible person. <laughs> like, you were not loved enough. Why would you spoil something? Are you awake? Like, let, let others enjoy it just like you enjoyed it. Come in, come in. For the first time. Mm, I feel you on that. Like, God of War is essentially a cinematic RPG type game. So it's action adventure and whatnot. Elden Ring is Souls. It's just Souls. It is a Souls. I ain't gonna say it's a carbon copy, but it's Souls. So if you're not used to that Souls experience, then yeah, I can see it. So you got a point. Her brother brought back her traumatic past via her parents. The ambassador arranged a surprise but you got a point. With God of War just being like a straight standard. Again, depending on what difficulty you said, hardcore. Because trust me, I've played Give Me God of War on the other God of War. Man. <laughs> but still, it's a fun story um, action RPG. Not hack and slash, really, if you ask me. Yotsuyu was mistreated as a child, was she not? It was a cruel trick to... Like, honestly... I would say this might be a weird sort of analogy, I guess you could say, but I compared God of War to like, hmm. I like this Asahi lesson. the Metal Gear Solid game where Snake was old be to some extent. He has agreed to allow Yotsu to if that makes sense, like, uh, how do I explain that? Our primary concern now is to hand over the prisoners without incident. And bring our people safely home. It was the one with like liquid ocelot and old man snake. There was one other detail at the meeting which caught my attention. I assume you all noticed the rather suspect crates within the castrum. Oh, now you want to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. They sound like weapons, they sound like a trap. Out with it, brother. You fear they might contain bombs or war machines? Oh, you think? You think, Alphano in Alize? If the ambassador wanted me dead, he has had ample opportunity. Don't say that he, and that's how people die. Assassination is not his intent, but we should be on our guard for other acts of treachery. Yes, yeah, like it was mostly story. Like it was a beautiful story, cinematics always, but it still had action when it needed to have action. Now I want to say, in comparison. Jesus, no. Come on, this is a beautiful story. Don't do this to us, game. Yep, he's pissed. I beg your pardons, my lords. I was certain she... But, like, in comparison, it's, like, definitely heavy cinematic. I won't say heavy cinematic, but, like, definitely a good balance between RPG fighting, you know, act of in adventure. Really adventure and action. But, like, definitely just beautiful cinematics. Elden Ring, again, it's just souls. It's just souls. And I love Elden Ring, but I also admit it, it is souls. It's a cool Souls experience. Don't get me wrong. It's super cool. Like, a, like I'd compare it to my love of Bloodborne in the realm of Souls games. But still. There's also that other game coming out, though, too, this year. But I don't know if it'll still be... I don't know if it'll be eligible for Game of the Year with how late it's coming out. I think it's still come out this year. Forspoken. You know, just looking at the clips of that still. Hmm? Uh-oh. What's going on over here? Who needs help from the Warrior of Light? Why am I running like that? Why am I, get, get your pep in your step. Sprint, damn it. God, my character looks so freaking cool. He's just like me for real. Ain't that her parents? Help. Help me. She didn't. Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> Early next year? What comes out? Uh, wait. Does the next Spider Man come out? I, that comes out next year. But is it, is it early next year? 
Can I get a pausing point in this cutscene? I'll just showcase some of the games I'm expected to. Oh, she does remember, damn. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh! But I will not suffer his kindness. Not after what I did to him. Oh, no. Who's there? <gasps> oh, it's you. What you doing out here in the dark? They just, she gives me evil stepmother vibes, and he gives me controlling stepfather vibes. Just want her voice alone. This is the Enclave, is it? When the soldiers dragged us back to Goma, you were the last person I expected Secluded. to see. Secluded? I've heard that name before. <laughs> he just like me for real, I'm dead. Hey, he is just like me for real. <laughs> a font of misery. I want to say, it's been a decent rise in R JRPGs. I feel like, I feel like there's never been a real decline. To live and taint us with the shame of your failure. Evil stepmother vibes, you deserve this. Perfect life in the capital. And now they're making us wallow in this muddy ruin like common swine. I don't deserve this. What was me, head ass? Now, now, dear, that'll do. There seems little point in berating the girl. When she scarcely remembers her own name, our time wow. would be better spent contemplating how it is. I felt bad for them, but now I hope she does it in like slow. Like, like I hope that like a pan of her face just <clears throat> the bodies. If he hits her, if he hits her, <laughs> you've kept your looks at least. I suspect you'd fetch a handsome price with the right buyer. Maybe enough to get us to Kugani and start a new business. That's fucking gross. That's your daughter. Adopted, yes, but still. <laughs> yep, that's that laugh. I think she's adopted, right? Yeah, she's adopted. No, is she the real one? I thought she was adopted a while ago, but I can't remember. I think she might be her actual daughter. No sooner do I wake from gentle slumber than the world... That's still sick. You see your daughter again for the first time, and your first thoughts are prophet, 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 sell her body. Yes. Again, evil stepmother, evil stepfather. Or controlling. How it was meant to be. And don't act shocked. If I cannot escape my nature, then I shall embrace it. Uh, I thought her story was going to end happily, but I don't think it will. To the very depths I have sunk, my soul steeped in spite and rotten to the core. The self-righteous hide behind justice, but I need no such mask. Hmm. Wait. Damn. Mother. Mother. Was it not you who made me into this mess? So, what is so cold in I could have sworn I've heard that name. World? Was that Totogami? No, Maybe gosh, I feel like I've heard that name before. The taste of pain and humiliation. But the time has come to savor my vengeance against Doma. Against all my enemies. Who are your enemies is my question. Do you consider us your enemies? With you! Oh. <laughs> Again, don't look shocked. Oof. Oh. Yeah, I mean, payback is a mother. Ooh. <laughs> Don't tell me your brother was there watching it. Oh, of course. Well done, dear sister. Did I not say you would come back to us? Brother. 
brother dearest. What a surprise. You always were a cold-blooded little worm. Mm. I doubt you thought twice about sending our parents to their deaths. Your dagger yet drips with their blood, and you presume to judge me? To be frank, I didn't think you had the strength to slay them so cleanly. A single thrust each. I'm impressed. I mean, they got, she got them right in the intestines, I want to say, so I mean, yeah, that's definitely going... Elders, you yearn for a deeper vengeance and the power to see it through. Okay, oh yeah, Forspoken. Forspoken, I think, comes out this year. And that's one game I was like, oh, that game's going to be so cool. Hopefully, if it's like done, if the game plays on it, it looks amazing. But hopefully, if the gameplay is solid, that game could be a good contender. But I don't know. It might be too late. What else came out? No. I don't ever consider a sports game in the running for game of the year. Want to die? No one does. Well, usually. But you kind of deserve it. So, fight me. Any sign of her? Nope. Well, I mean, besides this. Eh, you know, she killed him. I knew would happen if she recovered and still I did nothing you say she left with her brother yep that snake in the grass or worm in the grass I should say whatever he wants with her he was willing to pay for it with his parents lives but this is neither the time nor the place we must gather the others So you gonna burn the bodies, or we gonna throw them in the river, and that like nothing happened? What are we gonna do here, Ian? We gotta hide the evidence. I can't go to jail. I wouldn't last. You see this face? I would not last. Hello, Yuri. I'm right behind you. Okay, stop that. No, not Alpha. No, even though it's cool to talk to my brother, little brother in this case. <clears throat> we have recovered the Nayuri's remains, and we'll hold the cremation anon. Oh, we are burning them. I was right. Good. Hide the evidence. <sighs> Would that they had never again set foot in Doma. Hey, blame the sun. I broke the news to Gosetsu myself. He was quiet. I think it best that he be allowed some time alone with his thoughts. Oh, Gosetsu. Oh, yeah, I forgot these things exist. You can boost your de dex. Uh, vitality. Oh, yeah, dexterity. There it is. I'll think in D&D terms. But oh, hey, hold on. Before I continue. A game I have contend uh, for contender. Oh god, I gotta get Modern Warfare. I am not considering uh what you call it, Gotham Knights up there for it. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Where is it? Oh yeah, Star Ocean came out. That's right. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's still in the pre orders. Yes, this. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling this. It's still in the right. If it's can come out sooner, wait, when does it come out? Oh no, it's moved till next year. Never mind. I didn't know they pushed it back. So that that just sort of, that kind of takes it away. Crisis Core though, Crisis Core is gonna be freaking awesome. It's nowhere. It's not gonna be able to contend for it though. But Crisis Core is gonna be freaking awesome. Can't wait to play it. Police Simulator. <laughs> what the hell is that? Anyway, back to the game. Yep, Starship came out. I was thinking of buying it, but I'm like, I already got too many RPGs on my belt right now. I can't have another one just sitting on the shelf. Oh, conscripts and contingencies. Lord Heian seems keen to take stock of the situation. I hope it's just like, my favorite Star Ocean is the third one. Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithfulness, something like that. I forget what it, I forget what it was called. The third Star Ocean with Edge and um, long-haired brunette girl. That's a real good indicator of who that is. It is, by any measure, a cruel twist, not least for Gosetsu, but one which does not invalidate our agreement. According to the terms of the contract, we were bound to surrender Yatsuyu into the Guardian's hands should her condition improve prior to the hour of the exchange. By that reckoning, 
all is, if not as it should be, then as it must be. This I can accept. But what I cannot accept are the unconscionable links to which Asahi went to achieve this outcome. Given his recent conduct and his apparent admiration for Zenos, it is plain he cannot be trusted, and that is to say nothing of the unexplained containers he insists on bringing to our meetings. Whatever the ambassador is planning, I think it unlikely our negotiations will end peacefully. In the event of hostilities, the safety of the conscripts must be our first concern. As such, I would have an escape route in place before the meeting begins. We're probably going to go to war again. A wise precaution. If the main structure of cash from Fluminus is to be the stage for the exchange, then I believe a thorough inspection is in order. The Citadel has stood empty ever since the Imperial withdrawal. While we took steps to ensure that it could not be defended by an occupying force, it is entirely possible that the Ambassador has arranged things there to his advantage. I will slip inside and make certain we have an unobstructed exit. Pray, allow me to join you. I have some experience of Imperial facilities, and should matters take a turn for the worse, I would hope to be of at least some use. Very good. That should be enough to guarantee us a way out of the castrum. Beyond that, however, we will need a ship to ferry the conscripts back to the Enclave. Even with every skiff we have, it would take several trips to evacuate everyone. A confederate Sekibune, on the other hand, would require only a single run, and leave us far less vulnerable on the water, assuming, of course, Rasho can be convinced to part with one. Might I lead on this? I've had dealings with Rasho and his pirates before, mm. and I won't be alone, will I, Izardu? Heck no, sis! Heh. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> be coy. Like I say, he's just like me, for real. Come on. <laughs> well, I was enthusiastic. Were you hoping to join Yukri and Alphano on the skulking mission by any chance? I mean, I would have liked to be a Yukri, but hey, I guess I can't. I guess I can't pick and choose. Hmm. I am certain you would make a persuasive pair, but I think I will accompany you to these negotiations all the same. My lord, the ruler of Doma should not be seen consorting with common brigands. Eh, it depends. Come now, Yukri. They stood with us against the Empire. If we would if we would ask their aid once more, we must treat with them as equals. My presence shall serve to demonstrate our sincerity. Indeed, my lord. Pray forgive my presumption. By your leave, Master Alvano, and I shall be about our task. <laughs> and we should be on our way to Ankoro. Time is short, and Rausho may take some convincing. Or Rausho. I don't, I think I'm saying Rausho. It could be Rausho. Or Rasho. Rasho should have an eye in it, though, if you ask me. Or like some little ampersand. Not ampersand, um, accent. I get those confused sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, this. Whatever the hell this is. It's been a while since I've been able to play this game. Work has been work, and... Well, this work has been this work. I'm well, speaking of this work. If you have time, people who are watching, check out my YouTube... Um, it's the same stream, but edited down sometimes. But check out the YouTube version of the streams and ask, and just, you know, leave some feedback on, you know, color, brightness, audio, sound, what have you, what have you. You know, I've been uh, working with some color corrections in Premiere Pro. Instead of, like, leaving them all in OBS. So if you have time, ooh, sorry. You don't got to watch it all the way through. I would like you to, though. But you don't have to watch it all the way through. But, you know, just check it. You know, view it. Make sure it's not too bright. Not too colorful. Yada, yada, yada. You know. Neutral. But also accurate. If you don't mind. All around my YouTube. Once I upload them to my YouTube. Ah, my socks. My socks. That are high in my toes. High in? Hiding my toes. Not high in. <laughs> Maybe you, you are confused. Dama's liberation was but a means to an end. We aid you only to save ourselves. Now we have no such incentive. We have sworn no oath to you, and will not come running like hounds up their master's whistle. Pirates. 
and I would not presume to treat you thus. I come to petition your cooperation as an ally of equal standing. Equal standing, you say? Seems a bit lopsided to me. What is the profit for us in all of this? Profit? Must you always think of must think in such short sighted terms? Have you ever heard of doing the right thing? Have you ever heard of pirates, little miss? Hmm. You're fine with simple souls. You'll pay our tithe, you sail in peace. Deny us our due and we take it by force. We'll pull you we'll pull you out of the water if we see you drowning, when we are not in the business of doing something for nothing. Hmm. The pirates, what do you expect? Calm yourself, Miss Elizabeth. We do not come here to moralize. We came here to talk, and there is more to be said. According to records recovered after the liberation, relatives of your domain born brethren were among those conscripted into the Imperial Army. And as you may be aware, we recently negotiated the return of said conscripts. Many, alas, will arrive to find no families waiting for them, no homes to grant them shelter. Mm. I would ask that you offer them a place in the Confederacy. You would not be risking strangers, but welcoming brothers and sisters into your ranks. And has not the Confederacy been in need of new recruits? Manpower. Boom. He in. Diplomatic. You seem well informed of our affairs, Lord He in. The losses we suffered at the Guardian's hands are no secret, but since we drove them out of Doma, the Ruby Sea has come alive with traders and travelers. So many vessels to tax, so few prize to tax them. We could do with some more hands on deck, and doubly and doubly so if they're familiar with the inner workings of the Empire. Very well. The Confederacy agrees to your request. You may have your ship. I wish I was doing that. I was yawning. I was yawning. <laughs> uh, my back. Well, for that, you must do something for me. The vessel I have in mind was damaged during your battle with the Empire. Though we have mended her, she has yet to be declared seaworthy. She is sound enough down below, but when you load her up with the conscripts and the waterline rises, those upper planks had best be free of cracks. Assuming you want your people to stay dry, you will do me the favor of swimming around the hole to check for weaknesses. That is, if Doman Lords are not averse to getting the, their robes wet. Not this Doman Lord. If we each inspect the third of the ship, it shall be done in a thr uh, thrice. Okay, I don't understand what that means, but yeah. Oh, any, uh, really, I want to say the Apex ones. Uh, okay, so I just, I think I uploaded one recently. I want to say the Elden Ring ones, because those are colorful in, them, in some extent with some of the effects they have. Um, definitely the Final Fantasy one. So, oh, well, I'm basically saying all of them. Uh, okay, so I guess Final Fantasy, this one, online. Check that one, if you have time. Uh, and I guess the Apex ones, because I know those can be colorful at times. Elden Ring 2, but Really, you just gotta like go in and just look and see, cause Elden Ring is is that one's a little harder for me sometimes. But really, just check out the Apex ones, cause I know that's a colorful game, even though it's it's not like Minecraft colorful if that makes sense. But I mean, I know like it has many effects, like a lot of colors, deep colors, deep reds, deep blues, light blues, all types of things. So I guess Apex would be a nice little checker, and I guess really anything that kind of like kind of uses realistic human body, you know, like human skin tones, I guess you could say. So it's kind of like a, it's a little bit hard for me to gauge that sometimes but really any video how about that i just put this any video you come across but i guess the main ones for me because i mean the main ones i really do care well i care about all of them i did not mean to go in the water you can see he has little feelies shut down there we go Doing these little peasant work. I just got these robes. I just got these robes. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, no, explain that story, bro. What you talking about? I did not swim in the Ruby Sea since. You skinny dipping out here? Yo, he in. You naughty, naughty dog. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but if you get caught, you're screwed. Oh my god. Breathe. There we go. Thank you, Etchy. Thank you. Anything you can do to help would be nice. Honestly, just taking the time to do it is enough for me. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his little jump. Oh, I'll just do it anymore. 
Shake it off like a wet dog. Shake, 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 shake. And there we go. I missed chest day and I missed leg day. I'm upset. I was so excited for chest day because I was going to go back using heavy weights again. And leg day, well, leg day is just fun. I am the shipwrights uh, apprentice. Yeah, shipwright. Did you find anything that might need attention? The section I expected seemed solid enough. I like how you're about, you say. All right, I'll have a look and see what I can do. My apologies, I seem to have lagged behind. I could float in that gentle sea all day. Otherwise, I am happy to report no visible cracking or holes in any section of the hole. Your Lord, he and the captain said you do inspect the hole. Call me have mercy. Forgive us this discourtesy, my Lord. <laughs> Ha, huh, that's quite all right. In fact, I rather enjoyed it. I take it you are of Doma? Yes, my lord. The Imperial took my father away at the uprising, and I had nowhere else to turn. The Confederacy became my family. But someone told me they're releasing the conscripts now. Mayhap my father will be among them. <clears throat> now, not that I can go back. There's no, there's no leaving once you've joined. Hmm. How fair is our lady? Is she seaworthy? Watch him overheard that. Captain, we found a small crack in the port side, but I'll have it fixed before you know it. How long has this thing been in the water if it had a crack in it? Because, you know, water would have been building up by then, but hey, that's just me. I see you have met the boy. Did he tell you a story? He babbles when he is nervous. Hmm. Should his father be among the conscripts that he hopes? I mean to give him the choice to leave his leave this life. If he so chooses, I should I expect you to see there are they are provided for. There we go. Words. I have heard that those who join the Confederacy forswear all ties with kin and homeland. Is that oath so easily put aside? If I allow it. I see him. I see in him the lad I was 25 years ago. Mm. You say the words, you mean them, but the yearning for home still lingers. Mm. I feel that. My family is long dead. Oh, and I know this is my lot. But he has scarce clipped his toes with us. If there's a life for him in Doma, he should have the chance to live it. Well said. The Empire's conquest has uprooted many and more. Be it in Yangshia or out on the Ruby Sea. We have a duty to ensure that the e that the Han Chi and others like him are free to dwell where they desire. L's and I's are difficult. <laughs> Sometimes when reading them. Then the matter is settled. I'll make preparations to cast off. I think that's what he said. Well, my friends, if he be able to kick, he'll save. And yeah. <laughs> Stretch my legs. Maybe I can run fast without no resistance. <laughs> Excuse me, damn. I ain't gonna lie, if I got time, there's one game which I'm wanting to get. I already have it on my uh, computer, but I can't play it on my computer if I stream at the same time, because that's just a hectic, hectic time for my encoder. It is... If you've never played Mountain Blade... I highly recommend it. It is a fun experience on uh, on desktop, definitely, because of mods. But even just playing the base game, also pretty fun. It seems you could be enough enough completed their task for us. They have been waiting. I broke, dang. We scouted the structure and determined the swiftest path is safely. In the event of hostilities, we will lead the conscripts outside with all possible haste. From there, the, Confed oh, the Confederacy has pledged a ship to ferry us across the one river. Now we have but to attend the exchange and pray to Kami. These precautions were unnecessary. Well, we'll see if that prayer works once we get there. Ha, <laughs> ha. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. 
right there. They're telling you all I need to know. They're about to get into it. They're about to start. They, that's a fisticuffs uh, camera right there. The primary agreement. He and his raider proceed with the prisoner exchange. While we were putting our contingency plans in place, I left Hakuro in charge of organizing transport for the Imperial prisoners. He will see they arrive at the appointed hour, leaving us free to rendezvous with our Confederate allies. Come. They await us on the riverbank, not far from the castrum. <laughs> oh, there's pain in my heart. What trial is this? I need to know where the heck this audio comes from. Well, first time I ever noticed that up there. I want to go there. What if I've already been there, though, is my question. I think I have. I think I have. It was in a duty, wasn't it? Hold on, let me stop real quick. Oh, man. All these trials I haven't done. No, that was in the other place. That's right. That's right. I've never been in that one before. I don't even know what's in that building. Here we go. Your party's assembled then? Aye, we're ready for what lies ahead. I trust. Lest there be any confusion, though, the tower across the water is to be the scene of the exchange. That and whatever else the Sai has planned. But regardless of the ambassador's intentions, we will bring our people home. Yuguri, you already evacuate the conscript at the first sign of trouble. Yes, my lord. We, meanwhile, shall cover their escape and then we'll support we can. Your ship awaits you at the cash room's loading docks. She will see you safely home. Then all stand ready to play their part. Come, let us be about it. Why do I feel like it's about to show a thing? Oh, it's not. Okay, cool. Cutscene then? Hmm. I thought it was going to be conflicts, but I guess not. Maybe it's all just scenes. I hear Tales of the Borderlands, or like more Tales from the Borderlands is a fun game. Like, what's well, fun is it's fun, it's fun, basically. But enjoying it. Mm. I want a candy day! <laughs> if you know what audio I'm talking about, it's hilarious. At last, the hour has come. The conclusion to these negotiations will mark a new beginning for Dorma and the Empire. The first step on the road to peaceful coexistence. Mm, you say peaceful. Indeed. We are ready to proceed with the exchange when you are. <clears throat> Forgive my curiosity, Ambassador, but is there a purpose to these containers you bring with you? They're bombs. The supply crates. They are filled with materials we hoped might be of use in Dorma's restoration. I meant to gift them to you at our last meeting, but we had so much else to discuss. What if you put bodies in those crates? How very generous. I confess I had not expected such compassion. Welcome, no it is. Ain't no way. But then I was also surprised by the news that one of our captives had delivered herself into your custody ahead of time. A minor discrepancy I shall overlook in the spirit of the occasion. 
<laughs> Look at Heen's face. Are you perhaps referring to me, Lord Heen? She's gone back into that dress. No. Yotsuyu. Orphan of the Naomi. Widow of Sashihai. And acting viceroy of Dorma. You and your people are mine to govern. Mine to punish. Ah, Yasuyu. Well, well. It would seem your shattered mind is mended. As per our agreement with the ambassador, you are free to return with him to the Empire. Your authority as acting viceroy, however, is no longer recognized here. Is my water still over here? Yeah, 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 yeah I got it. She's talking on that dirt. Sorry. My position is not for you to decide, little lordling. All who resist the rule of the Emperor must be purged. Such was the order given to me by Lord Zethos himself. I'll agree, another Lord Zeno sympathizer. I know I killed you know I killed him, right? Will reign here in this putrid killed him. swamp until the last of you has been broken. What is that? What's that disc? Why do they keep showing that disc? You I shall shine uncaring, cold and distant as the moon. Oh, what has she done? Okay, I'm actually shocked by this. This is a summoning. I didn't think she was going to be a primal. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, Lunar Eclipse? citizen has called forth an icon in direct violation of our primary agreement. The negotiations have failed. Abandon the captives and make preparations to withdraw. What? Disobey me, Pylos, and you disobey the Emperor. Make preparations to withdraw. Now! Snake in the grass, worm poop. My lord, you must fall back. You ask me to run? You might want to run. This is something that you might not be able to handle. Yeah, strategic withdrawal, because we gotta we gotta reconvene. Spare my pride, would you? I know this foe is beyond me. The field is yours.
We will withdraw, but not without our countrymen. I want every soul accounted for. Every soul. What the heck? I didn't know. What's, what even summoning is this? What primal is this? Ah, my eye. Did she have bunny ears? But I have become Skuyomi, goddess of the moon and divinity of night. What power can compare to such celestial majesty? Sukuyomi. I shall plunge all I despise into darkness. And within that black abyss, even your light shall be. The toxic trait in me finds her a little bit appealing. Just cast the stalks and look upon the fate of Dolan. I see a future in which the sun sets on this wretched land. Once and for all! Yeah, toxic trait in me is definitely acting up. That is cool. Castrum Fluminous. Can, can I walk up to her? Ah, I, that is interesting. Hey, I got my wish. How did we not, how did I not expect that to be the case? That it was gonna be a dang primal. Bro, what? Cogent relic, a hidden cloak of crystal. So these kills the ritual restore the to see you. Through the oh through these tools. Amazing. Ah, my chair. My creaky creaky chair. Six minutes, not bad. I wonder if I can, oh, I know. Boom. Get a post like this going. Awesome. Look at that. Hold on. Let me see if I can. If I can just. There we go. Boom. That's kind of cool, right there. Hold on, I gotta... There it is, damn. Trailer. Neat. That's cool. Hold on. Neat. I do like that. No, that, that, that probably won't be a thumbnail, but <laughs> it was so bright, right? I was like, ah, what the heck? Ah. Let me see. I'm not doing echo uh, thing again. That's all that just ended. Hmm. 
<laughs> picture frame. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> ah, it's so stupid. Oh, Sakura leaves. <laughs> I'm having so much fun just toying with this stupid thing. <laughs> I see, just suck her at least. That makes more sense. I am about to face a god. Or a goddess, I should say. Oh, can I do a sideways? Oh, if I can do a sideways one. That's kind of neat. You can't really see my character model that much, but that's neat. One man versus one large woman. Hmm, that's a title of a video. I know it is. It has to be. Ain't no way. Wow, no one has joined yet. That's amazing. That is amazing. The joys of waiting for a lobby to fill. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? Yeah. We'll come in on this. Yeah, I landed on a second try. I think second try. I'm actually curious. Hold on a second. <laughs> Just leaves. Go to Yongshia. Hello. It, it, it just takes me right back there. That's cool. I wonder how Gosetsu's gonna take this, though. Because I feel like he really wanted to try something. Like, to see if it could work. Just like bring her back to the light, I guess. I think she had the Uncle Iroh her or something like that. If that makes sense. You know, Uncle Iroh giving Zuko a second chance, even though Zuko yeah, effectively betrayed him after the the Earth Earth, yeah, Book of Earth, I wanna say. At the end of the Brook Book of Earth, he basically betrayed his own uncle. In that show, I'd say he has the best character development. Second to him, probably Katara? Eh, 
mean, Toph didn't really develop as a character besides becoming... Well, I mean, she developed, but not, not like, as much as Zuko did, if you ask me. He really did. It really was interesting. I wish Azula... Okay. Ah, another sign that I might be toxic. I wish Azula had a redemption arc, because she was... Interesting, I'll just say. Um... I have very... Very concerning taste in women. Um, I wish Azula had a redemption arc, but I guess we just let her be insane. I think, was she insane? No, I think she was, um, what's the, okay, like sibling, uh, sibling rivalry mentality and wanting to prove herself. Like, she probably had that worse than Zuko did. Zuko realized it wasn't worth it. Azula. Well, she was already lost. Okay, I can see that, yeah. Top became more open, more friendly. I get that. I can get that. Like I said, I didn't, I'm not gonna say she didn't have any character development. It's just like, I didn't really like... In terms of like who had the best to me, I'm not ranking her as high. I'll be honest. The character development for Aang, main character, quote unquote, I guess you could say. I mean, yes, he was the Avatar. I don't rank his as high, to be honest. I mean, like he did have some development. Like there was definitely the whole, you know, Appa got stolen um arc, where he was definitely on demon time, ready to kill anybody. Well, I'll say maim. I don't think he was ready to kill anybody. To some extent. <laughs> uh. But I don't think Aang had, like, the biggest arc. I mean, I want to say his arcs were definitely when Appa got kidnapped. Um, and he he most likely had a definite arc during the final points of the series where he had to fight Ozai. Because, I mean, his whole... I want to say, like, the latter points of the Book of Fire, he was definitely having an internal struggle with the fact that if he fights Lord Ozai, he's going to have to either kill him or win some other way, and anybody's saying you're gonna have to kill this guy. You can't. You can't just fight him and beat him. You're gonna have to kill this guy. You're gonna have to murk him. You have to use that lightning that you know how to use and go straight through his chest or his dome piece. And Ang is just, you know, Ang is Ang. He ain't like that. So I want to say that was probably his most next to the Appa arc. You know, when Appa was stolen again, he was ready. He was. Man, forget being a monk. Where's my bison at? Was that was Ang. But still, I, I want to rank his... I mean, it was a good arc for him. Aang definitely has some good arcs, development-wise. But I don't want to know... I don't, I don't want to say his, like, as impactful, if that makes sense. Yeah, except his destiny. That's that's a good way to put it. Except his destiny. Except his destiny. Yep. That's a good way to put it. I accept the responsibility. Because, I mean, at the end, like, I think the biggest point that a lot of people was making, like, in the beginning of it was, ain't just a child. He's just a child. He's just a child. He's just a child. He doesn't know everything. He's still a little boy. He's still funny. He eventually grew up. Like, he definitely, like, I want to say he definitely had, like, a, a dang near an, an adult's mentality at the end of, like, the entire series. But I think, like, like you put it in a good point. You put it in a good way. L Accepting that his destiny is his destiny and coming to terms with it with Aang's uh, a journey. Katara's! See, it's hard to really for me to define her development. A lot of her development kind of boils around. See, I don't know. I want to say it boils around the memory of her mother for her, but there was so much more to Katara than just her mother, I feel like at times. I mean, there was definitely the romance with Aang. Which, hmm, I want to say it was more friendship than turn to romance. But, like, I want to say for Katara, it was a lot of stuff with her mother that really, like, drove her. Because, I mean, it was the entire arc where she went to go find the Fire Nation, uh, was it, I think, uh, General? I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think it was a lieutenant, I think it was a general. General that did what he did to her mother. Which I think he killed her, if I remember correctly. Straight up off her. And I mean, she had a kind of grip with that. Like, I mean, I know the running gag is, you know, every time something bad happens to Aang or somebody in the group, 
she always brings up her mother. My mother died, or my mother was taken from me. Like, you know, basically just showcasing that you're not the only one suffering. I guess that was kind of her arc, but I don't really know what her development really was. Like, she had that, she had that development during the um, Water Tribe invasion, where she proved to that master that girls can also be Bender Sue. You know, showcasing girl power and whatnot. I don't say that was a defining. I don't want to say that was a defining point for her though. Proving herself as a woman. Okay, I can see that too. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, just said that. Woman, no woman benders, and she was like, "Yep, I can prove that wrong." Did she beat that up? No, she saved the old man bender. I remember correctly. At one point, she even fought. She held her own against Zuko in the sun for a good bit. But she proved that a woman bender, even in Moonlight, is a cap is just as capable as a man as a male bender. So yeah, there was that. Proving she is good on her own. Okay, I'll see it. I'll accept that. And I want to say I think she had like a point, even though it was like, it was like a basically an episode long um, arc of how revenge isn't always worth it, I guess, or overcoming vengeance in a sense. Which I want to say she learned that from Aang a little bit, but I felt like she got a little bit of help from Zuko in that uh, in that exchange as well, because Zuko did journey with her. And I mean, he was ready to do whatever. That's what I like about that. He was ready to do whatever. Look, whatever you want to do, I'm ready to do it too. But just, I just want you to know, you ain't got to do it. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, he found her mother's killer, and he was like, listen, I know you're talking about. I can take you to him if you want to. And we can go, we can go handle things. But the decision is yours when we get there. And I mean, Zuko even said that when she was about to kill him. Because I mean, I remember the whole scene where she like, she stopped the rain. Made an entire dome around him. And just basically like uh, asking the questions like, do you remember this, this? Do you remember this water tribe? Do you remember this person? Yada, yada, yada. Basically just making him memorize all of it. And then realize that, oh shoot, you're her daughter. Oh shoot, I have messed up here. <laughs> That was a pretty cool scene. That was definitely a pretty cool scene. Yeah, I guess the, I, I like that example. She proved that she is capable. Even as um, a girl back then, I guess you could say. She is capable. She definitely had that uh, arc during the Northern Water Tribe invasion. Uh, she had her arc with the whole mother revenge. I feel like it's the third one. Oh, um, you could say during the final battle with Azula. There you go. She learned to let go and take the high road. That is correct. <laughs> Zuko is ride or die. He truly is. That's why I, I'll be honest. Zuko, favorite character of the series. Well, next to Sokka, because, okay, I'm going to get into Sokka in a second. Sokka, he had an arc. He definitely had an arc, because I can definitely tell you what his arc was. Um, Besides getting all the girls in the series, because let's be honest, that was completely Sokka. Um, Katara had that moment with Azula. Which I guess was also showcasing some of um, Zuko's development. You know, he really, he literally died in front of a lightning bolt without being grounded to the ground, first and foremost, to stop Azula from just straight up taking out Katara right then and there. Um, but she also had a moment with that Azula portion. Again, proving herself capable. Because, once again, she is fighting a firebender during Sozin's comment. Azula... Now, just a fireman, Azula, under Sozin's comment. And she was able to bring her, basically, into in, in, down to her knees. Come on, now. She had a good arc, too. Sokka's arc. Sokka, to me, was just proving you don't need to have bending to do anything and still be a boss. Like, literally, Sokka was competing with Earthbenders, Airbenders. No, okay, Earthbenders, the Avatar, Waterbenders. Firebenders, mental firebenders. You know that guy with the eye in the middle of his head that goes mm, and just shoots a freaking concussive blast that just boom explodes. <laughs> I guess look at that whole. Yeah, look it up. It's cool. It was cool. She had she had the stopping the rain. She had the blood bending. The blood bender, literally like overcoming the blood benders, like you know control and just like you know bring her down with blood bending. And the fact that she mastered it, and I'm like, well, I don't, I'll say master, but like she grew accustomed to it fairly quickly. 
in a short amount of time too? Come on now. Come on now. Katara low-key was that girl. And she was like, what, maybe... How old was Aang? Because she wasn't older than Aang by that much, I want to say. Um, maybe like 14, 15, I want to say. They had young love, I ain't gonna lie. Looking back on it, their love was kind of young, but hey, to each their own. Nickelodeon. Still, I guess, adorable to some extent. Um, but again, Chitara was that girl. She was that girl. Learned bloodbending. Took down a fire... Well, yeah, took down a firebender in Sozin's comment. During Sozin's comment. But again, to Sokka point, Sokka was going up against firebenders, earthbenders. Uh, did he ever fight a waterbender? No, he never fought a waterbender. I don't think he ever fought a waterbender before. When he was older, he fought one. But that's during the Korra arc. And really, he I don't want to say fought. I think he mostly defended himself. <laughs> if I remember what happened during that trial correctly. Sokka's arc, though, I just want to say... You don't need bending to be as useful as anybody else. You can just be yourself. How long have I been waiting for this during lobby to fill up? I need to go. I kind of, I tried to finish Korra, but like some other stuff popped up. I think either an anime popped up or a game came out and I just lost track with the schedule, like the days the new episodes were releasing. So I can't really speak on Korra and her arc. I know there was one season where she lost her bending, I believe. Like what, when did I, where, where did I fall off at? I watched the entire point to where she beat that guy with the mask that was taking people's bending, but it was really like blood bending to some extent. He was just like using blood bending to take people's bending away or whatever, which is also cool. And then I remember like he died or his brother killed him in like a yacht explosion, boat explosion or whatever. I don't know what else happened after that though. I, again, like when something else came out, something else got released and I was like, oh snap, what is this? And I just lost track of time. Uh, who else? In, oh, but um... If I had to rank the uh, character arcs in the original one, I'd say Zuko first. I gotta put Sokka last. Even though his like, arc is just funny to me. But it's, it's also pretty insightful that you don't gotta be, you know, gifted to be useful. I gotta put Sokka as last. And now it's a toss up between Toph, Katara, and Aang. Like just OG team Avatar members, not like the additional people that came on once in a blue moon. Like I'm not gonna, and I guess Azula too. Even though Azula's, again, her arc is just, she's crazy. That's it. Just flatline, stagnant. Bad shit. <laughs> That's Azula's arc. It's been 20 minutes and I've been running around in a circle. Uh, Let's see. Suko top. He's number one in terms of character arc and development. Do I really want to place Aang above Toph? Or even Katara, though? I'll say Katara is over tall. I'll at least do that. But where does Aang rank in my opinion after that? You know what? I feel like because, again, he was coping with his destiny and coping with the fact that he might have to kill the big bad and coping with the fact that, again, he was a monk. He's been taught not to be prone to violence or murder and dealing with the whole opera point. I, yeah, I'll put him after Zuko, and then I'll put Katara, then Toph, then Sokka. That's where I'll go. That's what that's that's where I'll go. Core has some really good arcs, IMO, and pretty good characters. The problem is yeah, they wanted they wanted more Aang, but Core was different. I can feel that. I can definitely feel that. Like I definitely want to say it was a bit of um in the whole Avatar sphere, the more 
mm, people who were focused on the gender, there was there were definitely some of them out there. They kind of made it weird for a bit, but I was just more interested in the whole world building aspect of things. But no, people they people did like want more Aang, which I get. You know, having a new protagonist in a show that you've already grew up in with the old protagonist, it's a bit of a hurdle to get used to. But when you don't try to get used to it, and you just like bring a little bit of a uh, you know negativity to it, it's like eh, well now you're just ruining it for yourself and potentially everybody other uh, everybody else. But Korra was definitely good. Like it got flack, which there may have been instances where it deserved it, and then there was some instances where it didn't deserve the flack it might have gotten. But it was still good. Like for an Avatar show, it was still pretty freaking decent. I just felt like people were still gravitating towards oh new protagonist. I don't like this protagonist. I like Aang better. Bring us back Aang. Oh, Aang's not coming back. Oh, well. I hate this protagonist now. Or just flat out hate for the protagonist in general, which... Teased their own, you know. Can't control people's actions. Everybody has their own opinion. Like my teacher once said, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has them, and some of them stink. <laughs> but hey, teased their own, like I say. I am struggling to get a party. It's so great. I mean, I think it's because like it's three o'clock in the morning. We're basically about to be four in a moment. And if it hits that point, then this is a stream that's been wasted to some extent. I mean, I could just try to solo her. I could just try to solo her. You know, not, you know, that I think about it. I don't like doing this, but. Just keep it going. I could try to solar and see how far I get. <laughs> I mean, I'm what level ninety, and this is like a level seventy basic dungeon uh, trial. She is puffing on that smoke. Okay. Let me get serious. Alright, let's see. Yep. Oh, ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna beat this boss. Damn, that hurt. Yeah, no. There's no way. There's no way. Let me go ahead and leave. Because I know... Uh, oh, I can't do it while I'm in combat. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. It ain't like these old 60s. She is on a different level. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, if you like itch, I would not mind. I would not mind. But if it doesn't happen, you know what? Even though I don't use it. Well, hold on. Let me see something real quick. Because what I could do is... Do two birds with one stone, to some extent. Like in an anime, when they get to a serious point and they for some reason break off to do some filler arc, I could do that. See, it says six minutes, but that's a lie. I was saying six minutes for a raid. I don't want to do that, though, because that might ruin, um, not ruin, but like confuse when I do the actual other thing. Yeah, it's like six minutes. What do you mean six minutes? It's not six minutes. Unless, do they have like a party finder? No, they have, nope. Nope, no party finder. New party finder. Yeah, people were, oh yeah, people were definitely mad about it. I, I do recall seeing some edits where I think it was so... Uh, a song was the brunette girl, red lipstick. She was going with one of the brothers, and then I think they broke up. 
And then I think at some point, a love interest happened between Korra and her. I can't really remember. Again, it's... I didn't finish it all the way through. I need to probably go back and at least try to, like, try to watch it. Like, literally from the first... Yeah, probably first season to last season. Yeah, you need this boss for the story. You gotta beat it for the, uh, well, extended story, I guess you could say, of the Stormblood saga. But to be honest... No, I don't want to cut it short. Because, I mean, I can do what I could do. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because, technically, I do two streams in one, in a sense. And, I mean, if needed, I can make this stream get cut short and just go ahead and bust open to some Final Fantasy remake. Well, I still got time. And just say that's the cliffhanger for this point. Because it wasn't always, it wasn't as, it was it, yeah, I still had content to show for the YouTube version of this. Because again, it's just me here. It's just me. <laughs> oh. Hello there, it's Ray. Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, data center? Uh, hell. Let me see. Frick. Ah, crap. How do I tell? I forget. Uh, what data center am I on? Okay, you know I got a better idea. Fuck it. Uh, hold on. Just stick to the title screen. Okay, good. Let's see. What data center am I on? I am on the North American data center primals. Which one am I on? Excalibur? Well, no, hold on. God dang it, it's already connecting. Let me see. What data center? I could have sworn... Piss, piss, poo poo, piss. Excalibur, there it is. I'm on Excalibur. Excalibur. Yeah, that's the one I'm at. Hey, they took me out. Cool. What was I saying? Oh. If. If. It runs too long. I can just do Final Fantasy VII early. But hey, I'm happy to have a duo on sync and see if we can do this. I should probably... Nah, hold on. Yeah, my gear is pretty good. I was gonna say, do I need to like, uh, uh, upgrade this mess? No. Let's say, let's say... Let's say... Yeah, for a player. That's good to hear. That's nice. I don't consider myself one. I suck at PvP too much. Also, I'm not into the high I'm not into high level raids yet. Because I took like 10 to 15 years off of this game because of school. <laughs> and also work. But mostly school mostly mostly school. Maybe I, sh I should watch Korra again. Cause I mean I ain't gonna lie. TV today. I'm just losing track of things. Like, I'm losing interest in so many shows. I mean, I like how they start, but then they just kind of, like, drag. Oh, who's this? Hello. Cerno Fumo. I almost said Fupa. Cerno Fumo. Hello there. Oh, is that you? All right. Just a quick note. This is my first time doing the... Well... Second time, because I tried it unsynced to see what she would do, and she dragged my ass immediately. Uh, all right, see, let's fuck it. I'm gonna say, did I not skip it? You're a lollapel. Look at that. No judging, just, <laughs> just pointing that out. Oh, crap. Oh, let's see, let's see. Well, definitely kicking her ass now. I'll say that for a fact. Take this. Let's 
still getting used to the ninja combos, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I'm level 90, I have not done a decent video to see just what the heck I'm supposed to do. Gotcha! Hey. I learned that attack. But I should watch Korra again. I wonder if I should go on this side. Ooh! Phase two? Witness to the Dark Apocalypse? What the actual hell does that mean? Oh, I'm alive! Hello. There's a mom and her dad. Or maybe stepmom and stepdad. What are you doing, step? Stop it, TJ. Jesus. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you're unseen. Tell me to see. That makes sense. You're also a gunbreaker, which I think is one of the more damaging de uh, tanks. No, I think that's. I think Warrior takes that from what I can remember. Are they gaslighting her? These are some evil ass ghosts. Or specters. Who is the. Oh no. Zeno, even in death, you torment us. Oh. Oh, this is sick. Oh, cool. oh. Ah, yeah, I ran into my, uh, yeah, what's it called? Hey, my Tenchi Jin is back. Tenchi Jin is back. Oh, God. Oh, I probably should have done that thing to myself, too. Sorry. <laughs> I got too distracted by the effects. But now... This is kind of banging. Uh, which one should I go to? Which one should I go to? Fuck! That hurt. Oh, sack. Thank you. Hold on. I'm just going to do this real quick to regain health. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be standing right now. I know I have a thing on me, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be standing. I am too confused. Yeah, it didn't even hurt me that much. Maybe because I had that dang thing on. Shade shift. Beautiful skill for the ninja. Also, it's Horizon. I love the fact I don't have to like waste any of my darn mudras. She got two swords? That's amazing. You're just like me for real. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Ooh, that hurt. Um, dang. That was some real ass damage. This is definitely one of the cooler ones. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Well, I'm about to die, probably. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, I'm still alive. Oh, well, maybe not. I, yeah. Oh, thank God. We made it. There we go. Thank you, it's Ray. Am I saying your name right, Ray? 
<laughs> what happened to her hair? She's transcended just like the moon. Maybe. I don't know. I think. She good? Just gonna step on her body a little bit. Trash. Nope, sorry. Love you, I see you. Hope you'll get better. Thank you, Ray. Oh, thank God. Oh, you're covering him for me, actually? Thanks. I'm about to say, I don't know, I don't know how much he's worth, but, uh, or they're worth. But I'll be honest, I'm broke right now, so I'm gonna need you to cover that check for me. <laughs> All's well that ends well. We killed a girl and we killed the... Did he just shoot me? Oh. Oh, he just shot her, though. That is... Was that him? It was. It probably was him, wasn't it? Let me stab him. Come on, just give me the option. Look at this pompous little... He has, let me stab him, game. Come on. Just work with the little knife in the neck. Don't try it. Hmm. You really must learn to finish the job. Well, I gotta kill you. Don't worry, I know about it. I know all about that. A gaudy mirror and a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. <sighs> but even this is why I always say family over everything, but this is a bad representation of that motive. Again, thank you, Ray, and thank you, Etchy, for shouting out for help. I don't know how to really say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, did I finish my list? Uh, Zuko and Katara, Toph, and Sokka. Yeah. Azula, honorable mentions, if she would have got done better, but I understand. I really did my duty as an Imperial officer. Some people gotta stay evil to carry on the story. Will you surrender to anger, then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe? He reminds me of Gen Ichimaru from Bleach, but it's way worse. Like, he doesn't have any redemption. Cannot, of course. To do so would burn. Bridges we have labored so hard to build. Oh, but I, I don't like this man. Ash. This doorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally itself with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that point. <laughs> Let me kill him. It should have been mine. The power he bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have repaid his faith. It's a good thumbnail right there, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I don't like this guy. No one alive loves him more than I! Oh. Okay, hey, no judgment here. Instead, this harlot betrayed Hey! Useless piece of filth! Worthless whore! Wow. Thank you. Who did it? Please tell me it was me. Oh, it wasn't me. Was it Gosetsu? It had to be Gosetsu. It had to be Gosetsu. Thank you, dear brother. Or was it her? Tell me it was her, because that'd be even more poetic. Yeah, there you go. Good job. I like her blades. These people. Our people. That's what I'm talking about. All the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Kind of sad though. What about Gosetsu? Hmm. Is someone cooking? Like you. I'll check that out later. <laughs> house is on fire. Is someone cooking? No. <laughs> it's not that, trust me. I know what smoky house smells like. Fun fact, my grandma almost burned down her kitchen. To 
<laughs> Just a random fun fact there, kids. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh. See, I want to use that, but I can use this as a thumbnail too, but I feel like it's a spoiler. It's like old Dragon Ball Z titles. Uh, Awaken Super Saiyan Goku or something like that. I forgot what that one was when Goku became Super Saiyan and what the title of the episode was. You should feel honored, dear brother. Well, like, I think he said um, Freeze the Beat or something like that. He deserves it. Like, there should be no... There are certain enemies you should not feel compassion for. Like, villains, all that. Dang. I wish I had a gory MMO. Show me... Give me a gory MMO that would have just shown him bisected. Like, literally, it's just like his upper half, just like this. And just all this. All this just viscera. Give me a The Boys MMO. Or an... Inv oh, God. An Invincible MMO? I don't want you to die, though. Go Setsu wants you to live. I mean, I'd rather you not die. I don't think I don't want you to die. What would I say? See, I'm, I care more about Go Setsu. But I'll be honest. You didn't really deserve to be made into a... I'll be honest, sex worker and then a tyrant. I care about Gosetsu, but I'll be honest, you didn't really deserve that. I mean, no one deserves happiness, but no one also deserves hatred and shit either. The happiness was never to be. No, don't say that. Not in this world. Well, maybe that. I mean, not in this lifetime, but it could have been. Just not in this lifetime. I wonder. Hmm. Yep, she did care. She did care about him. Ugh. It's just like Gazelle all over again. Why is it always women turning into primals and dying on me? What the fuck? Like, seriously. It's just like Gazelle all over again. Gazelle turned into Shiva. I mean, she defended us from the um, Garleans. You got Suyu turned into Tsukuyomi. I mean, oh, wait a minute. This is just like Yazeel if you think about it. Because Yazeel became a primal. You still alive, bro? Let me stab him. I want to share your memories, you punk. <sighs> Here we go. Now I'm going to have a headache. Ugh, disgusting, dirty memories of a... Ugh, slithery snake. Oh, I get to know he's still alive, though. Okay. Man, get off his dick. <laughs> no. But um, this is just like Yazeo, if you think about it. I, am at your disposal. I like his robe. The little, like, bathrobe situation. I, you were born of Doma. Yes. That voice. Oh, my God. Yes, my lord. I am honored that you would remember me. How may I serve? Like, I'm, I'm not the only one I heard that, right? That's a deep, that's a gravelly voice. I appointed ambassador plenipotentiary and empowered to speak with the voice of the emperor. Return to your native land of Doma and announce your intention to sue for peace. Peace? Once negotiations are underway, you are to locate the acting viceroy. Who is that actor? She lives? Uh, that is to say, I will, my lord. When you have found her, you will initiate a ritual to call forth an icon. I will instruct you in the necessary steps. Your Tsuyu's faith is unreliable. But as a child raised to believe in the Kami, she will serve as a vessel for one of the Kojin's gods. She need only wish it to be so.
she never wanted that. Gift, but the icon's essence will consume her. She will be no more than a husk, a slave to whim and desire. Like I know, that's that's the same voice actor I think, but it's deeper and more gravelier. I think it's the voice actor. To save my miserable life, I have dreamed of repaying your benevolence. Upon my honor, I swear to devote myself wholly to your service. All that you command will be done, no matter the cost. But, but, I. I should have enough time to do Final Fantasy VII. It'll be six o'clock, but oh well. I got a meeting at twelve. It's a call, so I mean, I should still be good for that. I've gone to sleep at like six and woken up at eight. I should be fine. Will I be happy? Probably not, but I should be fine. Oh, hell, my necklace. My necklace. And I would remind the people of the threat we face. You. tolls the warning bell the salvation of this world will not be won through the signing of treaties your chosen agent i'm trying to think what character does he remind me of i will not fail you my lord like a character that shows blind devotion like a sickly blind devotion Again, he's getting Shimaru in the face to some extent with that whole smile and like just creepiness a little bit. But like What's the girl from a comic a kill? Master Lord Xenos. He will come for you. <laughs> Get off his nuts. Let me kill him. You lucky. I would have me I boy. <laughs> Taking a picture just for my sake. I want to see that Love every day when I wake mercy. up. Huh? Oh, he and you're alive. Oh, you're here. Oh, go said to I'm so sorry. Well, uh, what does Vet, Vet, Vet Viata say? Prepare to cry? No, don't bring an old man to his knees. She's smiling though, that's good. Wherefore did the Kami spare us? Only to inflict this pain. Yep, here it comes. <laughs> I didn't need to hear that. I didn't need to hear that. That actually hurts. Okay, that's since we're on the topic of Avatar. Death shall not want for company this day. You spared us a worse disaster, but I fear our fledgling peace with the Empire was beyond saving. Ever since I heard Uncle Iroh cry, I'm like, I never want to hear an old man cry again. Oh, we still got a fight? Let's do this. Max that episode was actually pretty sad. I assume you the episode that included the leaves from the Vine song. I entertain thoughts of escape even now. But our negotiations have yet to reach a satisfying conclusion. The ambassador insisted that the summoning spelled an end to our mission here. But it seemed to me there was more to the tale. Does it now, Garlean soldier, you damn dog? I'm sorry, I'm still in a war mode. Xenos, I'm not going to talk about us. Forget Asahi, he's dead. Rest in piss. I have heard tell of this power you wield. And in your vision, you witnessed Lord Xenos giving these orders. Damn right I did. But how can that be? Xenos is dead. He took his own life after the battle in Alamigo. Well, you know what they say about killing yourself. You never do it right the first time. That's not what they say. Is it? That he was gravely wounded is certain, but his recovery appeared to be proceeding apace. 
I'm afraid I share Lord Hien's confusion. The man's I could have sworn I've heard someone say that at least once. And I don't know if they would be serious or not. Oh god, that's actually alarming. <laughs> the third time's a charm? It, exactly! The first time's always like a trial run. The second time's like, okay, I learned from the first. Let me try this one next. Third time, boom, got it in the wraps. There won't be a fourth time after that one, though, unfortunately. That is fucked. <laughs> that is messed up. Oh, God. Remember, kids, seek help if you need it. Or just go to the gym. I'm more of the latter type of person. Saves you a little bit of money. Saves you a lot of bit of money, actually. Um... Well, it's, unless you buy pre... Well, I don't do pre-workout. I'm not really a pre-workout person. If I need caffeine, I will drink tea. In a pinch, I might drink coffee. I don't do coffee because it kind of just like... I don't want to deal with coffee shits. Um, tea, I love me some tea. I'm drinking tea right now to be exact. So I guess yeah, if you if you put in the fact that you gotta get caffeine, quote unquote. You can do you can you can work out tired if you want to. I've done it before. <laughs> Hell, I've fallen asleep during a set once. No, this is weightlifting. If it's weightlifting, I've never fallen asleep during a set. If it's body weight stuff, I've definitely like almost fell fallen asleep or if or fallen asleep during a set before. You're so short, Alpha No. You wanna go to where? Imposter or no. If Xenos was instructing Asahi on the finer points of ritual summoning, then experience tells us there is an Asian waiting in the wings. Without that knowledge and expertise, our new friends will be hard pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. They need our help. Have you lost your mind? Were you indeed willing to share your knowledge of this enemy, we would not shun your counsel. You truly mean to do this? In full knowledge of the danger. If I was going with him, I wouldn't be upset. Risk his life on countless occasions. Next to him, I'm scarce more than a distraction on the battlefield. Give me an option to say no to this. The audience chamber, there I can make a difference. I can strike bargains, forge ties, and change minds. And where better to do these things than in the home of our old enemy? This is your moment, I believe in you, Alpha No. I mean, yes to both of those, but I don't want him in Doma without backup. Not Doma, um, Garlemald. It's Garlemald, right? Whatever, wherever the heck the Garlemald stay, I don't care about their homeland, fuck them. That's not right, we should be better than that. Still, fuck him. Um, I believe in you. I trust in you, Alpha No, but I don't trust in your plan. Mm. Like, I can't lose this dopey boy. But I would have you consider an alternative arrangement. Thank you, Hien. The Empire is a simple traveler. Go forth as an emissary of Doma. Such a position should offer you some measure of protection. Or come there with me behind your back. And damn all the rest of that stuff. Go then. You've obviously made up your mind. See, even Alizé's not happy with you. Just try not to do anything reckless, alright? You just basically said you told Alpha not to be Alpha no. I'll be on my best behavior. Farewell, my friends. Even if they do have some weird Asian plotting from the corners or whatever, it's like... <sighs> I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Where's Gosetsu? I want to make sure he's okay. Is he still up here? No, he's gone. That makes sense. Hey, Hien. I knew Asai was planning some manner of treachery. But a summoning? Thank the Kami you were here, my friend. None of us would have escaped but to use vengeance had you not intervened. Well, it was me and a friend by the name of Ray. Or... 
Hold up, 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 hold up. Sir No Fumo. You can thank them too. She was a pawn eye, but she still had a choice, and she still chose to submit to the ambassador's plan. Tis little one that goes sent to departed in silence. Oh god, we should probably watch out for him. Um, does a thing called seppuku exist in your country? I mean, I bet it does, but let's not, and let's hope it doesn't. I gather he left the same way he came, alone aboard a rowing boat. He rowed here? Hmm. As for the conscripts, most made it to the Sekibune before the battle began in earnest, but the vessel yet waits on the riverbank for those who did not flee in time. I hope Kosetsu's okay. I can't stomach the thought of that happening. Can I suggest we put this doleful place behind us and make for the enclave together? To be ashamed to miss the joyous reunion. Ain't nothing joyous about today. I mean, I got the killer primal, so I'm happy, but... Gosetsu's definitely feeling it. Damn, that's a lot of red cloaks. <laughs> I see red cloaks. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know why. That just made me laugh. The little doggies or the wolf. I forget how bad you three is. I imagine this moment. Stop it. Thank you for helping it come to pass. No problem. And thank you for letting me kill a god again today. I was getting bored. I keep forgetting that the Rogadins have like black splotches on their noses. The little nosies. Oh boy. Oh no, he was still here. I'm gonna say, is he going to go set soon now? No, that's good. Please, please, don't bow to me. I mean, continue doing it, but please, you don't have to. But please keep going. I know, I understand. I am the best. I am the greatest. I am immaculate and always. Did I use that word right? Okay, uh, how does, what does immaculate mean? Immaculate. I spelled it wrong. Perfectly clean, neat, or tidy. Yep, I use it correctly. <laughs> I'm immaculate in all ways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Gosetsu! He's back in his military garb, which is a little bit... Ah, there you are. Hmm. I'm curious how this is about to play out, then. Oh, he cut his hair. My friend, what have you done? He's gone full Tyler Durden on us in the last point of uh, Fight Club. An old man who cannot raise his blade has no place in the service of a young lord. Thus did I decide to devote my remaining days to pilgrimage. I will walk this land, offering oh. repose for oh. all the souls who left this life in suffering. Well, that's okay. That's something. He's going full monk on us. Like actual monk, not like a pew, pew, pew monk. All of them? That was my fist fighting noise. Well, okay, I like both of these answers, but it's like, don't leave us is like saying, well, being like, you know. Well, no, nah, I mean, that's just him, me being a friend. Safe travels is like me saying, get the fuck out of here if you ask me. I'll say don't leave us. Stay your ass over here. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is no full on and final farewell. Send me on my way with a smile, my friend. I think he's doing this as, as atonement. 
It's more of a torment that I feel like he's harboring because he's not saying it to everybody. He said our goodbyes to Alpha now, and you leave us too. But tis well that my companions find their own way forward. I must endeavor to do the same. I have faith that you will find the best path for Dorma without me, my lord. Pray forgive me this last act of selfishness, and grant me your blessing. You have earned it a thousand times over. Go in peace, my friend. I shall make of Doma a land where children laugh and none may live in fear. That's a good place, Ian. There is no better way to honor those who went before. Yes, go set to. I'm not shaving my head. That's what you're about to ask me. No way. I've been growing this for too long. I'm surprised he didn't shave his beard too. Just go full on, you know, baby. Well, <laughs> old man, baby. That's the face of a. It looks like it's, it looks like basic Osetsu, but I just feel like he's harboring some sense of remorse and sadness for what just transpired. Which I can understand. I mean, let's be real here. I can definitely understand it. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, Gosetsu. Fair journey to you, my friend. A bittersweet occasion, but there is yet ample cause to be grateful. Pray, join us in the Ken Ken Khan. I will thank you properly. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got the same haircut as me! You fucking copycat. <laughs> I respect it, though. But you can't, not everybody can be like this guy. Hold on, just let me just... Not everybody can be like this guy. Strutting forward. Oh, shit, hold up. There we go. Hey, you three. I'm not gonna lie. Spending time in Doma, my heart still kind of beats for Yashtola to some extent, but dang it, Yugri, you have definitely grown on me. Maybe because you're a ninja. That's what I like about you. You're a ninja. You're just like me. You're similar in battle tactics. Oh, shoot. Ugh. I just tried to talk, but I had tea in my throat still. It is a day that will live long in memory, and one that will... That would never have done without the courageous actions of the Scions. On behalf of Doma and her people, we give you our deepest thanks. You're welcome. Lest you think me complacent, I assure you, I have not forgotten the dark cloud on the horizon. That Xenos lives in a source of grave con is a source of grave concern. May have the gravest, yet there is little to be done but wait for Alphano to send word. Until then, I plan to devote myself to fulfilling the promise I made to Gosetsu by building a nation in which none need live in fear. Respect that. <sighs> I confess, I miss him already. So do everybody does. But the thought that he has at least found peace goes some way to softening the blow. I wonder, did you ever stop to ask yourself why he showed up to you such kindness? I, be yeah, I believe the answer lies in past tragedy, specifically the death of his wife and daughter during the... You gotta be kidding me during the invasion though he hit it well they were never far from his thoughts and a yatsuyu's child like me and i believe he saw not a fallen tyrant but the little girl who was lost to him i play games to be a cool guy not have feelings after the loss of his family gosetsu devoted himself wholly to the service of his country he suffered any hardship strove beyond the limits of endurance without hesitation or complaint though suyu could never truly replace his daughter i had hoped that with her at his side he might live out the remainder of his days in relative contentment would that the kami have been so minded even now i labor to discern any meaning in yatsuyu's fate to deliver her from certain death with no memory of her sins 
only to leave her at the mercy of a stepbrother? Okay, stepbrother. Can that truly have been their will? Hm, what are you doing, stepbro? But this, but totally different. That I cannot tell you. The will of the Kami is not for us to know. Hm. Ugh. I'm sad now. Oh? Hello there. Hello there, Ubi Bowl. It's going well. I'm just playing some Final Fantasy 14. I almost said 15. Play Final Fantasy 15. I like it. It probably should have. I'll be honest. It could have been. It, I would have been happily waiting for that completed project. But hey, I still enjoy what came out. Just playing some Final Fantasy 14 online. About to probably switch over, to be honest. The fuck? Oh, there it is. I'm about to see. Where the heck is the next mission? Alize will do that next time. We'll be saying goodbye to Doma next time. Hold on. I want to get a good picture of me and no, no, me and the gang. Just get a good little... Hold on. Uh, boom. Okay, dude. Nope. We'll be saying goodbye to Doma uh, next... Hold on. Uh, next time. Thumbnail. Or potential thumbnail. Boom. 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 Yeah. It's going good, Ubi Boy. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Thank you for cheering. I should really get a message also in stream elements. I gotta get better using my stream elements. I'll be honest. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Just, um, this is just for me so I know when to stop it in the recording. 